think one of the mornings that we all remember, the rumble of thunder yeah. waking up a lot of us, not only in the East County and the mountains, but also in the South Bay. I want to show you what's going on outside right now. Tropical start to our morning. The sun that is coming up and the clouds out there are beautiful. And check out Mount Laguna. You can see where it is raining on these uh, cameras. So it is pouring in some areas. And Pinpoint Doppler Live, I just counted, you know, did a, did a query on the count. 36 lightning strikes within this box. You can see most of it happening in San Diego County and then moving our way. These storms are moving towards the west. Now in Point Loma, if you're in the South Bay, we're getting a lot of reports of people hearing thunder. In fact, our 10 News Breaking News Tracker just captured another lightning video. If we have that, let's go ahead and pop that up. This is the lightning that is associated with that. So if you watch your screen right now, we should be able, there it is, there's the lightning. So this is from Point Loma, that lightning. Wow, a lot of lightning strikes. I've been seeing them pop up on radar, but man, it sure is a lot more impressive. We can actually see what it looks like out there. So those are not in San Diego. These are the lightning strikes that they're seeing just to the south, but you may be hearing it in Pero Beach, Chula Vista, National City. A lot of kids heading back to school today. You might want to bring that light rain jacket with you as you're heading out. Mount Laguna has been the other active spot all morning. In fact, in Campo and Potrero about 3 a.m. We had a lot of lightning there. These systems are moving in a westerly direction. Now it is fizzling it out as it goes, but if it holds together, you might hear that rumble of thunder just after 7 a.m. in Alpine and big picture. There's a lot of moisture with this as far as Southern California goes. San Diego has been getting the bulk of it all morning long. So here you go. 10 News Futurecast doing a good job showing the activity along the border through the early morning hours. Then as we transition to the mid late morning, we'll start to lose that chance. And this afternoon peak activity will be in our mountain areas. Now another model, just that one is a very high resolution model. It only goes out 18 hours because it updates every single hour. This one, I just want to show you as we head into tomorrow, there's going to be a slight chance for a few showers or thunderstorms, but that will mainly be near our mountain and desert areas. So a very humid day in store for us, a little bit cooler, but the humidity is going to make it feel uncomfortable. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, still humid tomorrow along the coastline, but expecting it to be a drier day. Inland neighborhoods were in the mid to upper 80s through the extended a little bit warmer Thursday and Friday. That potentials for showers and thunderstorms peak activity is happening right now, but that threat will continue into tomorrow for our mountains and deserts. Kalina.